waiting so much. Huh? Only one hour is gone. I thought I'd come and join you when you all left. My God. I thought you're cooking something for me, but no. <laughs> you feel it so fun. Okay. Alright, 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 don't watch, don't watch. <laughs> Close your eyes. I have a okay. surprise for you. Close your eyes. Ah, oh, that's it. <laughs> okay. Can you open your eyes now? Now look at me, I'm very beautiful. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> surprise. Did you eat well? Yes. You cook yourself? Yes. Yeah. Anybody who is leaving tomorrow? Yes. The ones who leave tomorrow come over here and make a, a road, a police. A uh, police uh, make uh, a road. Uh. <laughs> the ones who leave tomorrow come uh, sit uh, here on this platform. Only if you're leaving tomorrow. Leave and come over, come over. Yes, yes. Maybe something left over if you want. <laughs> It's the last time. Uh, move a little bit behind. Move back, yeah. So, you enjoy, yeah? Yeah. Mm, share, share with each other the food a little bit, okay? It's not much. Everybody one piece, yeah. So, anything you want to tell me before you leave? <laughs> what do you want to tell me? The food is good, yeah? Well, actually, the food is it's just like where you stay in your country. Just because uh, here it's cooked with love, yeah? And you have no pressure of society here, you know, you come here, just lie down and eat. <laughs> so. <laughs> so your duty is very light over here, right? So you feel good. Hmm? You have translation? Okay, still? Oh, yeah? Oh, really, you know? I don't know any that's better organized than this ashram. <laughs> yeah? You bring your heavenly ears everywhere and so... <laughs> you always have uh, enough translation. I'm very pleased. Hmm? I'm very pleased with the system here. Are you not? Yeah? You pleased? Yes. Okay. Also leaving tomorrow, Mama? <laughs> <laughs> nah! <laughs> <laughs> I thought she would be. <laughs> wow. Okay. I think it's uh, around the last last weeks, right? So everybody kind of concentrates <laughs> in Meoli to come over here. Um, so I wish you a good journey. Yeah, and Kamsa <laughs> Amida. Oh, Korea? Oh. Only Korea? Oh, made, made in California there? <laughs> Batman forever or something like that? <laughs> huh? You California? Yeah, you look like Americans. Huh? <laughs> and Korean, American, American. Huh? All oh, the bunk still here? <laughs> okay. Just come today? You arrived today? Yeah. Today, huh? Mm, because I haven't seen you before. And the old monk, the old monk, <laughs> not here. Oh, they don't have earphones. Oh yes, <laughs> plug it in. Yes, tell tell them to plug it in. Oh, because there's translation, translation. Okay, you see, oh, everybody has ears. <laughs> so, uh, do you have any questions before you go? No. And you happy? Yeah. Very happy. Very happy. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you're not happy, you know what to do, huh? <laughs> do you know what to do? Yes. Yes? What? <laughs> huh? More meditation? Uh, what happens if you cannot meditate? <laughs> Some people tell me they cannot meditate. So, what's what? What is next? So I have to meditate for them, right? <laughs> and if you're not happy, I am going to be happy for you. 
Well, if you cannot do anything, you say, Master will do it, right? <laughs> so if you're not happy, you know what to do. You say, Master, please be happy for me, right? Okay, then I will do that. <laughs> I'm happy every day for you. And if you can't meditate, Master, please meditate for me. Okay, then I do that. <laughs> I meditate every day for you. Hmm? So whatever you cannot do, <laughs> I do it for you. But then I get all the benefit. You understand? Yeah? So you try to meditate yourself, and that's all there is. All right? I just make myself more beautiful, so you can remember me better. Hmm? <laughs> we all love beauty, right? Beauty. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe the inner beauty is better, but the outer beauty is uh, okay for the beginning. And most of you are beginners. <laughs> beginners <laughs> need a lot of beautiful pink <laughs> and yellow. <laughs> So if you have no questions, then you may... What time you go tomorrow? Uh, 6.30. In the morning? Um, departure at uh, 6.30, but... Morning, morning? And evening. Or oh, evening. I have a lot of time. You? Afternoon. Afternoon. Morning. morning. Oh, good that I see you, huh? I see, see. Because sometimes the, the, <laughs> the people report to me very funny things. Like in the morning, I wake up, you know, my wisdom eye has not opened yet. <laughs> I come to my office and then I have a look. Master, you know, there's a type, type paper, very uh, important, very official, and very... It looks very weighty, you know? <laughs> looks like very important, state matter, thing like that, over there with letterhead and everything. Dearest, beloved Master, capital, yeah? And down there, we would like very much to report to you the following. <laughs> 30 people living... Six o'clock in the morning today. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know when the paper arrived, but when I arrived, it was already about seven or eight o'clock. <laughs> so even <laughs> if I have UFO, U, UFO, you know, I can't arrive fast enough. So I always call them because of such small things. I said, I told you hundreds of times, you have to... Report to me beforehand, not after, or not immediately. And you know, they think I go to the office about four o'clock in the morning. I might do if I think there's something there. <laughs> something like that. It's always something like that. And then when I, I read the papers, people are already in the sky. <laughs> so even if I could catch up with them, I can't do anything. <laughs> so every day, maybe uh, just in the evening, I ask you who's going tomorrow. It would be the best thing. Right? Yeah. And you can have all of look at me <laughs> in the eyes. <laughs> and then when you come home, you say, well, I have seen the Master, huh? Anyone who's seen me for the first time? <laughs> One, two, three, four. First time? First? No, second, no, first time. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Uh, no, I don't want you behind them. <laughs> you have a lot of time. <laughs> and how long will you stay the first time, people? How long have you been here? No, no, wait for the translation, it's okay. I know, how long have you been staying here? Do they come? Tomorrow leave? <laughs> Hello and goodbye? <laughs> wow, that's cute. <laughs> Make trouble for me. Oh, that's how they cannot always report because it's too fast. <laughs> Just come in, fetch them from the airport and then and then have to bring them out again. Really? One day only? Are you sure you understood what I asked you? <laughs> really? One day stay here? How come? You don't like uh, barbecue? <laughs> Is it very, very, very good? <laughs> mm? <laughs> Why? What happened? You busy? Hmm? No time? Occupation. 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 Yeah. Wow. Huh? Just come for initiation. Uh, you came for initiation one day and then go home. You came for initiation only? Yes. Oh. I want... Uh, <laughs> I want... 
and I want you. You want to see me? So come and go like that. Oh. Hey, 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 I asked you to answer, not to cry. Huh? <laughs> okay, so better than nothing. Huh? See, once it's better than nothing. Huh? And crying is not allowed here, it's illegal. <laughs> if you want to cry, you have to apply for permission. Uh, two weeks in advance. <laughs> but in your case, you cannot because you don't have time. So don't, don't you dare cry in here. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, nice to see you. huh? Uh, but all of them also one day? Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the boys. <laughs> when you see, I see your eyes red, it's not beautiful. You stay here one day only, only her? The other also? Husband. Oh, for one day. Very busy, right? Busy? Children? Oh, yes, <laughs> I understand. It's very difficult for uh, some of the people to come here and stay here for a long time. Sometimes they have their own business, you know? Mm. And they, they don't have employees, so they have to work for themselves and work very hard in order to survive and succeed in this world. Mm? Okay, I wish you a nice journey mm? and you come back again when you have time. I will remember you, all right? <laughs> have good translation, yeah? <laughs> okay. So, any requests before you go? No? You like some of this? Oh, that's all I have at the moment, but it tastes good. Yeah. Up for you. This one you haven't eaten, huh? Why? Oh, there. No. Okay. It's it's clean. Not yet eaten. Yeah. Anyone else who came only one day and going? The other one also. You also. The other one. No. You stay here long. All the people stay here long. You ask them for me. Only these two. Huh? Yeah. Okay, okay. Make sure I understood you and you understood me. <laughs> A worldly language is problematic. Okay, so look here. You've already eaten all my leftovers. <laughs> you can share. <laughs> and some salad if you want. <laughs> you know, like this. <laughs> Good for your health. <laughs> I'm sorry you have to leave so early. Mm. Mm, please eat. But um, I'm also happy for you. So at least you can see me once. Huh? Many people, even one minute, not possible. One second, not possible. Many people in Vietnam and, and in um, China, yeah? And other there are many touching stories, but uh, I know it, but I cannot help <laughs> too much in this world. I only can do my best. When I was in Italy hmm, for the fashion show, some of the uh, people from Poland and Hungary, they had no money to come, but they liked to. Also, because I rarely go to Europe, very rare. And then they hitchhiked, you know? <laughs> from Poland to <laughs> Hungary to, to Italy just to see me. And when they just saw me, they just stood there and cried, 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 cried. I said, what happened? Something wrong? Is the world ending or something? <laughs> Nothing. They were just so happy that they made it. Yeah, It was very touching. Even though now when I tell you I'm smiling and laughing, and it wasn't at that time, I also, you know, shed tears. <laughs> If not outside, then inside. Yeah. But you see, what can I do? Hmm? I already have done my best, yeah? Um, according to my uh, situation, my health, my time, and my finances. And um, according to the world, you know, uh, situation, I have done my best. <laughs> and I have sacrificed a lot of my own principles. <laughs> to please people and to try to ask people to remind themselves of their good nature 
to be good and moral and to remember God again. If I go out, yeah, and I don't talk for myself, then other people have to talk for me. Like, oh, look here, you know, this master is from the Himalaya, and she may take a lot, and she already became a Buddha and all this, and that, you know what I mean? So. On the one hand, it's the truth. On the other hand, it's embarrassing, you know, for me to go out and tell people and to answer direct questions like, are you the Buddha or not? It's difficult to explain. I, I cannot catch the Buddha inside me, despite all the talk to you that we have to see our Buddha nature. But the Buddha nature is not the thing for us to see. It's not that we can describe it. Yeah. And then after, perhaps if we have uh, already understood what the Buddha nature is, we lose it. We thought we had grasped something, and then in that moment we lose it, and we, we don't know the Buddha. That doesn't mean we lose it. It's just that we do not have an attachment or a clinging to the Buddha nature and thinking that we are the Buddha anymore. If at that moment we still think that we are the Buddha, then it's nonsense. That means you, we have followed the path of Maya, but there's no such thing as an ego to think that that ego is a Buddha, or any individual is a Buddha. There's no such separation between yourself and the universal power from that moment on anymore. If you yourself still have the feeling that you are an individual, enlightened, achieved, Buddhahood person, <laughs> then you're done, you're finished. Yes, you are possessed by the devil. Truly, it's like that. Hmm? Um, so what, what, what was it then? Why did we go to the Buddha? What for? <laughs> what, what was it before? About story on the story the Poland, the Buddha. Mm. And then? Coin is soil. Coin is soil. And then what is all soil? You're going out to the world and you're bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go to the world. Yes, okay, fine now. Yes. See, even though I sympathize with the people who want to see me very much, I already have done my best, you know, and I probably will continue to do my best. But everything takes time, yeah? And even the flowers, they, you know, blossom when the time comes. I can't just go on every day and give lectures I like a forced issue. <laughs> Something like that must blossom once in a while. That's why it's not up to me to give a lecture or not to give a lecture. See, when the time comes, the flower will blossom. And that is the time when the people will see it and benefit from its fragrance and its beauty. So some people keep asking me to go here, go there all the time. <laughs> I cannot just decide that. Also, when we go out, uh, I have to perhaps advertise for myself yeah, sometimes. And then that's very embarrassing for me. <laughs> or somebody else has to go before and say, look, uh, the greatest Buddha on earth is coming. Did you know? <laughs> Things like that. So in one way or another, to me, yeah, personally, it's very embarrassing against my principle of humility. But even that I have sacrificed, you know? I have sacrificed the last <laughs> of anything to present to the world what I know and what is best for them in my knowledge. But still, uh, even that cannot be done as often as people wish to have it happen. I can't just go from one day to the next, uh, you know, here and there all the time. Many things in the world are not so easy. Hmm? For example, here, see, um, many of you are new people, right? Or if I go to a new place and give a lecture, and all the people there are new. And so if the newcomers just uh, join our group of brotherhood, then I have to take time to take care of them. You see what I mean? Until they grow a little bit, then I can have new ones, yeah? Unless, like, you they have joined us through another medium, right? For example, you know your friends, and your friends have been lecturing to you, or lending you the tapes or magazines or books, and then you have been saturated with the teachings. 
and you have been vegan and immersed yourself in the teachings, then it's all right when you come. Even though you're a newcomer, you're not brand new. You are stable. You can walk. Yeah. So it's all right. But if I go to a new country, new territory, and begin lecturing and kind of uh, recruiting new people, then I have to take time to make them grow. See what I mean? Take care of them and things like that. Otherwise, they fail. They fall very quickly from the pressure of society. So I can't just go on, go on lecturing without taking care of the newborn infants. You can't go on bearing a baby every day, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then have no time to take care of the, the chest-born babies. That's why God doesn't let you have babies every day, but once a year. <laughs> Maximum once a year. So therefore, you know, what all the arrangements are. Hmm? It's because the parents must take time to take care of this newborn infant first, at least one year, and then can have another baby, for example, like that. Oh, if they do it like quickly, they have uh, five babies, six babies, fifteen babies in one go, then it's all right. <laughs> but then they have to also have time and many people to take care of that. See? Similarly, huh? You know, I can't, as one person, do everything at the same time. The inner master is very powerful and omnipresent, but the outer master is subject to all kinds of uh, obstruction on the physical level. You understand very well. Hmm? All right. Hmm. Just like you love your children very much and your love is omnipresent for your children, even anywhere they go, they will know you love them. Still, your physical presence, you know, is only one. And they love to see you in person. Is that not so? Mm -hmm. So you can't just uh, tell people, say, well, I love you anyhow, wherever you go. I give birth to you. And now you go anywhere you want because I love you anyhow. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you can't always explain that to infants. Yeah? And the newborn initiates are just like that. They're very excited, very emotional, you know, very expectant, very demanding. Yeah? Very hard to please. <laughs> So it takes a lot of time and patience and endurance to bring them up to the old initiation level and leave them there. <laughs> and then go and give birth to other initiates. And then continue to take care. Mm. So it's an ever-growing family. And it never will stop. It never will stop. Uh, until after the Master dies, then perhaps it probably will roll on for a while, you know? Without the Master's presence, uh, this business <laughs> perhaps will still roll on for a while. It's like a car, before it comes to a complete stop, it rolls a little while. That's it. I don't know if we will have a kind of successor, brother or sister for you. So, wow, I am alive. I am trying to do my best, okay? For example, you enjoy very much being here at this time, no? You do? Okay, so now, if I run around around the world, I cannot give you this time, you see? Uh, to you, maybe it's short, but it's very, uh, very, how say, very dear to you, hmm? very pleasant for you to have some time spending with me personally like this. It's better here than in your home, even though if I come to you, uh, it looks very convenient for all of you, but I don't think we have such a surrounding, you know, and all the facility and the relaxing atmosphere in which I can treat you like family members, you know, like coming home to mother or sister after a long time. You see what I mean? Yes. And then I probably sit there and you give me all the fanfare and <laughs> uh, pomp and show and then clap, clap, and, <laughs> and uh, a lot of fruit and flowers and later you eat them yourself and then I go. <laughs> And then you ask me some questions and then goodbye. <laughs> yes, there is not such a personal, warm, uh, you know, atmosphere for you. You know what I mean? So actually, sometimes I think and I wish that I uh, stay here all the time or I stay somewhere, you know, to have such a very conducive 
atmosphere for you so that any one of you can come anytime at your convenience without having to consider the schedule or your timetable and things like that. But maybe it will come. Maybe it will come very soon, huh? Mm. Maybe we have a permanent... Well, I could stay here also. No problem, really. I can stay here for six months and then go somewhere else and stay a while and then come back again. Hmm? But I, I don't know how many foreigners will like to come <laughs> all the time like this. You have come all already or not yet? Are there still people there? Yes. Are there wanting to come still? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Really? Yes. I mean, the, the initiates, I don't mean the tourists, huh? <laughs> yes, still some more people? Yes. Okay. Well, um, you know what? Maybe I just stay, and if you want to come, you just come. If you want to stay, you stay. And then well, when you come, if you don't see me, you know I'm not here. <laughs> huh? How about that? Yeah. Okay. Well, at the moment, it's safe here. Yeah? I tell you, politically speaking. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, it's okay. I think we are all right here. Anybody afraid of dying? Yes. No, no really? <laughs> uh, me, I'm afraid. <laughs> what? We have master. You have master, and whom do I have? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very good, very good. Why not, huh? Why not? Hmm. I have more interest than you, huh? You have only one, and I have many, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I've done good business, huh? <laughs> Huh. All right. So um, you enjoy, huh? Yes. For a change, huh? Yes. yes. I heard you laugh and sing and talk nonsense, and <laughs> that suits you fine, huh? That suits you fine. <laughs> no problem, huh? And I think you wish the time goes on forever, huh? Some of you, some of you, no? Yes. You don't feel any pressure here sometimes, no. even if Tong runs around and shouting at people. <laughs> you don't care, right? No. <laughs> We have to do our job, you know. <laughs> have to do our job because we don't have policemen here. We we are the ones who are bad men and good men at the same time. <laughs> yeah? In America they have only a few good men. <laughs> but here we have a lot of good women. <laughs> yeah, I have to be father and mother at the same time. Yeah? The church and the policeman and yeah, what? Angel and <laughs> and uh, ya what was it? Yama King at the same time. Do you know that name? No. The king of the netherworld? You don't know him? No. My friend. <laughs> if you're not behaving yourself, I'll send you to him. Then say, well, take care of them. <laughs> the king of the netherworld, yeah? A lot of karma. Hmm. He takes care of our gifts and takes so that uh, we will be clear uh, when we leave the world. And if we're not cleared, we can't leave, we have to come back. So the Master sometimes takes on the role of that, kind of lot of karma, a part of it, so that, you know, immediately cleanses the karma of the so-called disciples. It doesn't matter how painful it is for both sides, so that when he leaves this world, he is clean. So that he is clean and he can leave this world. So it's very, very difficult, huh? I am very happy for you and for myself that you have always understood me and forgiven me, even though you don't understand what I do sometimes. You don't understand why I scold that person or why I send that person away or why I treat that person more special than you. You perhaps do not understand all the time. But uh, I'm very grateful and happy that you always forgive me. Even if you don't know if it's right or wrong, you forgive me. That's already very good for me and good for you because that means you are very generous. You're very tolerant. You're very gentle, you know, very wise inside. That means you have matured in wisdom and spiritual practice. And that is very, very good for you. And of course, if you forgive me, I feel very relaxed and no pressure, no misunderstanding, bad energy. That's, of course, good for me, too. 
but above all, it's very, very good for you. That's why I'm happy. And I hope you continue in this spirit and try to understand things in a deeper level of consciousness and not from the outer appearance. Because if you don't understand me, I would be the most lonely person in the world. And it will give you a lot of also pain in your heart because you're harboring this kind of misunderstanding and this kind of negative energy towards me. And that also hinders your spiritual practice. So on either side is no good. Hmm? Uh, sometimes I feel very lonely. Yes, very, very lonely. Because um, surrounding me is not always, not always good and forgiving people. You know what I mean? Because they always have their uh, negative traits from uh, maybe from my last life huh? or maybe from uh, this life they learn from society. Even children, sometimes I find them very, very unforgiving. You know what I mean? Uh, sometimes the children, when they see me at work, yeah, if I scold somebody else, they get scared too. And then they, they don't like me. And that sometimes feels very painful. Not because I lost them, you know what I mean? But because it always happens that you cannot always do your job without having side effects in some, to some degree sometimes. Because with so many people, I cannot always avoid unpleasant moments for everybody or for the children. And so, and so sometimes uh, when I see people misunderstand me or shy away from me, I feel hurt also. I feel very lonely. But nevertheless, uh, my job has to be done. So whatever the price, I pay. Yeah. And eventually, when we all go up to a very high level of consciousness, and we all look down together, <laughs> and then we all have a good laugh. <laughs> because we were all very stupid then. <laughs> you know, taking theater for reality. Yeah? Looking at the reflection in the mirror for the true image. So we will be laughing at ourselves at the final moment when we join together in a very, very, very high level of wisdom. All right? So for that very noble and uh, high goal, I sacrifice everything. And I can go through any hardship, misunderstanding, negative, thick fog of energy. Because I know eventually there's nothing there at the other end. There's only bright, beautiful grace and love, harmony at the other end. So that's how I can continue. Otherwise, uh, to be a teacher of any kind is a very lonely position. Hmm? <laughs> Until all the students graduate and grow up and have a good job and understand and appreciate you, you're probably already in the grave. Yeah. <laughs> or suffer a lot of... Uh, psychological pressure and sickness, right? Mm. Okay, so I say good night, and I'm very happy that you have come even for a short moment, okay? I'm happy that you have enjoyed, and you come back again anytime, all right, if I'm here. If I'm not here, you can also, no problem. Mm? Just, uh, just that you leave so quickly. <laughs> if I'm not here, you leave very quickly. <laughs> Uh, if I want you to stay, you don't. That's the only problem. Hmm? And you probably uh, had not a good impression last time when I was not here, and then you also don't come. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so good night, huh? <laughs> Remember, concentration here, all right? Mm, that's all there is. Very easy. <laughs> all the benefits will come. I meditate every day, huh? I want to report to you. Sometimes I'm very tired too, huh? So I have to sit on the floor, very hard floor, so that I don't go to sleep so easily. But I do sometimes. <laughs> 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 don't laugh at me, huh? You do all the same thing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but don't learn this from me, it's very bad trait, very bad habit. <laughs> all right? <laughs> But my heart always yearns, okay, to serve God and mankind. So it doesn't matter if I sleep, I wake, I eat, I stand, I talk, I do anything. It's all in the name of God, all right? It's a good excuse. <laughs> <laughs>
good night, good night. Yeah. Begins again the day you took my hand. 